Welcome back to another video. This one is a recap of what happened this weekend at the live event. Belin hosted her very first live event this weekend. There was one on Saturday and then one on Sunday. I wasn't able to tune into the one on Sunday, so I was glad that they posted a recap explaining what happened. First image shows Arctic and Belin together at the live event on Sunday. As previously mentioned, this was Belin's first time doing a live event. She was told Heroes Hangout would be a great place to host a live event because it holds a hundred heroes at a time. Now this is true, it does hold a hundred, actually over a hundred at a time, but the problem is it can cause a lot of lag and issues for people with lower end devices. Even I crashed during my live stream with the Saturday event. The first thing she summoned was a pack of nine fire zards, and this is where people already started having issues. Those fire zards soon evolved into a level 83 firezilla, which took a bunch of people to take it down. She even died herself several times upon trying to defeat it. I think I died as well. I'd have to rewatch the live stream. What a beautiful display of fireworks turned into a game-breaking experience for many a player. Fireworks were shooting high, mirroring ping speeds, which were reported to top 1,000 MS. I didn't see what my MS was, but... Problem with players crashing was they were losing out on potential live event chests. Even one of my YouTube moderators, she had only been able to get two out of the entire event we had on Saturday, which did accumulate five in total. Five or six anyways. The next batch of monsters summoned were worms. There was 12 massive dune-sized worms that started killing players faster than the lag. As if this wasn't traumatizing enough, I'm still learning the game dev commands, and so I accidentally started sending game-wide messages, which is the red text, to everybody in the game instead of the people that were in the map, which is the gold text. I am certain I confused so many players experiencing the game who had zero idea of what was going on. I apologize for that, but thankfully Gold Raven kept pinging me on Discord to let me know, hey, Beline, you're doing it again. <laughs> That's actually what I was saying during my live streams. I kept messaging her being like, uh, you're doing red again. More oopsies while there were typos. Now she did warn us there were going to be typos. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, at one point she did type in a secret dev chat command. And now this of course can't be used by regular players anyways. So it's not like we can abuse that, but she said, hopefully nobody took a screenshot. I was live streaming. So you can check the live stream to find that code. And then the, Monster Mash Thrash. So the lag was unreal in Hero Hangout, and this is where I recommended that we take it to Past Battleon. I had previously mentioned Past Battleon before to her. Luckily, she went and checked it out, loved the location, and so that was the backup map that was going to be used. So she took everybody over there. Now the problem with that is there used to be a command we could use to get there. Join old Battleon. It would take you to past Battleon without having to go into the main menu and adventure menu and all the rest of the stuff. She explains later how to get there. But it, it's irritating to have to get there through that. What they need to do is enable that command again. They just have to turn on join old Battleon join add that command once again because we used to have it and then for some reason we lost it and i don't know why because it's a community map and it is the number one best map for events especially live events they spawned a level 76 fiery draver that took center stage dealing damage that surpassed 18,000. A party Sneevel was also summoned, actually several of them, and then although people kept asking for a thrash chest, she had no idea what that was. The grand finale on the first day was the One-Eyed Monstrosity, and this was the One-Eyed Rachnor. And this had 1.5 million HP and could deal 100,000 damage. And this is crazy now what was neat about this is it took strategy to take it down in order to take this thing down you needed to have dragon slayer or necromancer or something that would reduce the armor and upon reducing the armor you could then deal damage to the monster so once people figured that out they were swapping to these classes that they could 
nerf the defense of the monster and we were able to take it down it took a while but it was still I, I enjoyed the challenge of it i thought it was pretty fun and then of course you know some more chests were spawned including a blue ogre chest i think two blue ogre chests maybe i'm not 100 percent. you can see me right there i was in her her instance and there's a mod right there there's a couple mods in in the instance sunday fun day i was not able to attend this so i was glad that i was able to see the recap of what went on so arctix wasn't able to join in on saturday however he was able to join in on sunday they decided to host the live event in Battleon because Hero Hangout was too laggy and Past Battleon was too difficult to find. Again, this goes back to the lack of command to get there. So she was able to type in the old Battleon command to get right there. Unfortunately, we were not. So we had to go to the main menu, adventures menu, world areas, special locations, and then Past Battleon to get there. And some new players might struggle with that sort of thing so they decided to do it in oh i mean in the battle on in the current battle on i personally do not like the current battle on i find it does lag and it causes issues for people on lower devices personally i feel it's on par with heroes hangout except that it can't fit 100 the only difference between heroes hangout and the original i mean sorry not the original but the map of battle on is that you don't have as many people in there so but because there's just so much stuff to have to load on your device it's still not a good location for live events Artix used so many dev codes and summoned so many things that I didn't even think were possible. He also was able to summon NPC helpers like Galanoth to help slay dragons alongside. I've heard of other devs doing that as well. Um, it was so awesome to see his prowess in action as we carried on with the oh so limited live event with oh sorry with my old oh so limited live event knowledge and you can see a screenshot of the event going on balloons story time sans typos live events aren't just about killing monsters and getting live event coins there's a story that's told and see this is something that was kind of nice the first event that we attended there was all this fire themed dragons well there was a reason behind this fire themed element so she said she had spawned fire zards lava worms fire kappas and other stuff like that and this was a tribute to the very first rpg she ever played which was pokemon red where she got to choose a charmander so that was why she was doing this the first one i ever played i think was pokemon yellow so anyways there you go you could see another thing right there so that was her theme that was the theme behind it was pokemon red but of course without any copywritten things so spawning firezillas instead of charmanders and you know stuff although we do have a charmander to look alike in aq world we could get one in aq 3d so a bunch of different stuff was spawned they had some lava large lava worms and fire things and then a fiery draver is if i'm saying that right i don't know and red dragonlings which eventually evolved into the red server dragon this dragon put charizard to shame the grand finale was a riot of fire fan snevels evolving into the massive one-eyed Ragnar, which slaughtered me far too many times to count lots of live event chests were dropping throughout the fray and everyone in battle on rejoiced from all the fun and all the live event coins received not surprisingly i'm interested anybody who was able to attend the sunday event let me know how many coins you received that day the players demanded more and so arctic summoned something even bigger Acroloth. This was the first time fighting Acroloth, and it was insane. The level 55 Acroloth was over 1 million HP and was easily one shotting heroes left and right. You can see an image of the Acroloth right there. Big giant Acroloth. You can see one of the new moderators right there as well. Oh, and there's Avon from AEF. Cool. Once we finally took the dragon down, Arctix asked what else players would want to see something about a thrash chest and he chuckled knowing exactly what that meant so he spawned the thrash monster monstrosity followed by the heavy metal chest following his defeat players were thrilled after destroying this chest that was harder to break than a 20 year old nokio phone and then said that arctic unleashed the hounds arctic summoned werewolves and wolf wings before dropping a golden dire wolf chest that made the players squeal and or howl in delight. 
also legit howl because of the amount of werewolves that was spawned. So you can see the thrash is right there. That's pretty cool. And then you can see the, I believe that is the chest right there. That's, that's the chest. Has a bunch of different stuff that you can get from that chest. So, but anyways, yeah, pretty neat and so there's a bunch of different screenshots that was shared here just like in every great game the end is never the end unless it's the shadow of colossus and so the end of my live event was just the beginning of something spectacular my first ever event may have been a roller coaster of lag typos and a few too many oops moments but it was also a testament to the incredible spirit of the aq3d community we learned that something Sometimes the most memorable experiences emerge from unexpected mishaps. It's a great reminder that even in the virtual realm and in real life, laughter and shared experience can bring people together in wonderful ways. Let's all cheer for more epic adventures in the world of AQ3D. And so this is the beginning of what they, they do plan on doing a lot more live events and stuff. So it's going to be pretty cool. If you guys were able to attend both events, which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging.